Looking for an easy bok choy recipe that you can prep and cook under 10 minutes? Or you just want to learn how to cook bok choy, how to cook shiitake mushroom, or just show me an easy mushroom stir for her weight loss? Then you are at the right place. Let's get started. So we start off with garlic, probably one and a half tablespoon of finely chopped garlic. We then move on to ginger. A small piece of ginger is all you need. Peel the skin and finely chop it. Because this recipe is bok choy without oyster sauce, I need some flavor or heat. So, green chilies. Then, sweet peppers. This is an optional ingredient. If you don't have it, you can skip it, but adding it gives a different texture to the shiitake mushroom recipe. We are now on to the star ingredient of this recipe, which is bok choy. Bok choy is a variety of Chinese white cabbage that falls into the cruciferous vegetable category along with kale, Brussels sprouts and broccoli. We are going to cut this off right here. Oh yeah, look, this looks like a rose. Okay, now what I usually do is I don't cut it further and use it as it is in any recipe. Or when I make shiitake mushroom with bok choy and stir fry, I keep it just like this. If you want, you can chop this into half, but I don't. Now this is going to reduce down in a couple of minutes in the pan. It will shrink in heat because bok choy is 90% water, so you can just leave it as it is. Remember to wash the bok choy actually before cooking it. Remove each of the leaves like this and remove any dirt or sand lodged between the leaves. It will be difficult to spot if you wash it in a bunch, so cut the end of the stalk and rinse the leaves well. Now did you know that 1 cup, which is about 70 grams, of bok choy gives you about 35% of your daily vitamin C and 27% of your daily vitamin K needs. Now it's time for the shiitake mushrooms. Now unlike the king oyster mushroom, this one is not as thick as the oyster mushroom. I am not using the stem for this recipe, I'm just going to use the cap. Now how do we know if the mushrooms are fresh? Well, the stem should be sturdy and it should not be slimy to touch and should not smell obviously. So it's better to use them within one or two days of your purchase. And if your question is like, how do I clean mushrooms? I'll just open the packet and place all of the shiitake mushrooms in a bowl of water. Now the bowl of water should be at room temperature. As with any mushroom, just slightly give it a wash. Couple of wash should rid the mushroom of any dirt or sand. Now if you see this one here, it's a bit more darker than the other mushroom but it doesn't mean that it's spoiled. Sometimes you will find different shades of mushroom in the box that you purchase. Just scrape off the skin and it should be fine. And if you see the water over here, I cannot see anything like uh, the mud or sand here. It's just a fragments of the skin which is delicate so there's not much dirt on this and it's a very fresh batch that I've gotten today and another tip that I want to share is do not use hot water to clean your mushrooms because it's gonna cook the mushrooms so always try to use room temperature water I'm just gonna use the mushroom cap alone for this recipe and you can use knife to cut out the same portion with the cap side down and slowly cut as slices now keep it a bit thick because you know this is going to shrivel or shrink once it hits the you know, pan because of heat. Okay, now let's have a closer look at how this looks inside. You see that this is pretty sturdy and because it's been in water for some time, it's got a bit soft over here. The top portion has absorbed quite a lot of water but this portion is thick and we try to cut the entire mushroom in similar slices with equal thickness. Just repeat the same for all of your mushrooms while doing this. Oh, and, and just wait. And just wait for the funny sound that I managed to capture. This is a big one. <laughs> okay. Let's start cooking the bok choy with shiitake mushrooms. The first thing is I'm going to place a cast iron pan and wait for it to heat up. I then pour it a tablespoon and a half of sesame oil and wait for that to heat up as well. Let's add in our ginger. Ginger is cooked. Let's add the garlic. And then I'm adding some green chilies. Cook this down until the raw smell of ginger garlic is gone. Now let's add the shiitake mushrooms. Just coat them with ginger garlic and chili. And just spread this out and leave it untouched. What's gonna happen is, 
the mushrooms are going to brown down and a crust form on few of the pieces. The texture of the shiitake mushrooms are meaty, so having that caramelization is going to be so good. It's been a minute now and let's see whether the shiitake mushrooms have browned on one side. The mushrooms that have been in contact with the pan have shrunk and has got a different texture. The pan looks wet, which means the mushroom has released water. I'm going to add some seasonings right now, a bit of turmeric, a bit of pepper and a tablespoon of tamari. Salt to taste and just coat the mushrooms with the seasonings. And just to check if mushroom is cooked, I'm going to taste one piece. That's cooked. I'm going to switch off the flame and transfer this to a bowl or a plate. This itself is very tasty to eat. While shooting this, I did forget to add the red sweet peppers, which obviously can be added now when I'm going to cook the bok choy. But I think you can still eat the shiitake mushrooms on their own. Eating with a side of rice is just awesome. This is a mushroom that you must try if you get access to it. Definitely more meaty like. I'm going to use the same pan as you see there's some bits stuck here. I'm just going to add the sweet peppers which I missed to add while I was cooking. And don't worry about it, it doesn't need a lot of time to cook. Because we need the crunchiness of the pepper. So I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to fry the peppers. Alright, so once these are cooked, let's learn how to cook bok choy. It's going to be a big, big mountain of bok choy. And if you think, well, will this even fit in this pan? The point is, bok choy is just mostly water. So once it hits the heat, it's going to shrink. I'm just going to close this with the lid now and it's going to shrink up. Watch for the magic. It's almost been like 30 seconds now. Uh, it looks like it needs some more time. Quick stir so that all these leaves which is on the top also gets cooked. You can see the water getting released and if you just close the lid for another 30 seconds maybe, we'll have a bok choy vegan stir fry. It looks so beautiful, green and red, the color combinations is perfect. Bok choy is one of the vegetables that I've seen that's so easy to cook and you know to make a meal under 10 minutes. The veggies which have the water content is your go-to choice. I'm going to sprinkle a bit of pepper again and then some salt to taste. Give it a quick stir. Moments later. I don't even have to give it a taste because I can see the leaves have shriveled and it's let out most of the water. Now you want to serve this just the way as it is and you don't want to overcook the bok choy. You need that crunch on the bok choy against the meaty texture of shiitake mushroom. Wasn't this bok choy recipe easy? So this easy bok choy side dish can be consumed with rice or any protein of your choice. So for days when you feel like cooking is taking your time or you don't have just have the time, this shiitake mushroom with bok choy is a lifesaver. Because of how it looks, I think it's perfect for cold evenings or winter nights. Hot rice and a side of this bok choy stir fry vegan dish is just enough. And if you thought this was easy to cook and if you want to see more time-saving meals, then check this video out where it's a one-pot meal. Perfect for families or you can freeze them up for your weekly dinners. And I shall see you on another video. Take care.